Welcome to the channel, another day, another project, and we've just been down to the vintage shop for some inspiration. While we were down there, we noticed a couple of projects, things that really took our eye, but one that took our eye in particular was this UK traffic light. We think this is gonna look great on a wall in a bar or a man cave or an office space, but not just as it is. We've, that wouldn't be much of a project if we just hung it on the wall. So let's make a plan. Normally you'd find these UK traffic lights on a post or hung from a gantry, but because we're hanging on a wall, what we're gonna have to do is do away with the bulky back section of this light and we're gonna fabricate our own aluminium tray to sit on the back. Now this tray we're gonna section off. We don't want the light bleeding through from one light to the, to the next light. We're gonna put our light control into one of the sections and we're gonna put the battery in another section. And the battery we're choosing to use in this case is an alarm battery. It's nice and slim line and it should give plenty of life. Um, and also, because it's a modular system, these lights, we can open each light up and get to access the other controller or the battery if need to in the future. So on the RGB system, you have three channels, red, green, blue, but we're using three whites, three white lights in this case, but three different color lenses. So we'll be able to program it to whatever you like. Really. The final part of our plan is to give it a coat of signal yellow paint to give it that New York look. <laughs> so let's crack on.
<coughs> right, so that's it, the light's finished. It's in its temporary home, it's working off the controller, and it's looking fantastic here. Um, I'll quickly run through what we did to get it to this stage. We took the, got the existing light, we took off the surround that was around the outside, of course we got rid of all the other gubbins that were in the back of it, and the box that was on there originally, which is a bit too deep. We've had this 3mm alley frame made up with the sections so that when each individual light comes on it doesn't bleed through to the next one. It's got the battery in there, it's got the controller that works off of this. And then we just gave it a lick of paint in this signal yellow. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, please drop us a comment below. Let us know what you think. Um, check out the channel, loads of the videos on there. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.